Meanwhile, over at 40th and 28th in Kenosha, the Blake family and community leaders are pushing a message of healing. Mary Jo Ola joins us live from that neighborhood. Mary Jo. Yeah, Steve, you know, the crowd is starting to thin out here at 40th and 28th, but the Blake family says the message here is about shifting from tragedy. This is the same area where a police officer shot Jacob Blake in the back in front of his kids more than a week ago. And in light of the president's controversial visit to Kenosha today, the Blake family worked with the Urban League of Racine and Kenosha and several community organizations to bring some positivity to this neighborhood as they continue to push for peace and justice. That's why the team brought out a DJ, food, free haircuts, and bounce houses even for the kids. That's why they offered voter registration and COVID testing. Alongside civil rights activist Reverend Jesse Jackson, Jacob's uncle says the time to end systemic racism is now. No longer going to tolerate this. As a community, we're going to work together. We're going to put aside our differences. We're going to agree to disagree, and we're going to rebuild our community. Do you understand you're angry and upset? And we can see why you would want to burn something down, but we're asking you not to. That fist that you put up in anger, we're asking to raise up high in unity. And come on board with the Blakes. We're going to make some big changes. Now, Justin Blake, who you just saw there, says that Jacob's kids are with family and getting the therapy and help that they need after that experience. He also says that his brother had a conversation with presidential candidate Joe Biden and Senator Kamala Harris for about 30 minutes, but he could not provide any details as to what that conversation entailed exactly. Reporting live in Kenosha, Mary Joel with TMJ4 News.